Praise the Lord, everyone. Good morning to you on this Tuesday, September the 19th. God bless our prayer team is my prayer this morning. I'm not with you live today as I'm traveling this morning to Indianapolis. Uh, myself and Reagan going there uh, to participate in the voting session tomorrow and going to be able to take in the service this evening, the North American Mission Service. So we're glad to have that opportunity and we cherish your prayers today of protection upon us. Uh, I have um, a devotion I want to share with you this morning uh, from Psalm 80 that is very special to me. And then we're going to go, go to prayer uh, over our needs today. Uh, since I can't share with you the needs live this morning as they are current, I would ask that you go back and look at the post from yesterday uh, in order to pray for the specific needs as you can today, as they are listed in full there. Um, and then also, uh, if you have any new needs, any new requests, uh, post those in the comments on this video today so that the rest of the team can see them and we can pray uh, unified together for those particular needs. Uh, psalm 80 um, is a very special psalm uh, to me because uh, the Lord gave me a song uh, out of this psalm, and we actually uh, sang it as a chorus at our church for many years. And uh, then I guess it was last year, um, sometime last year, maybe about a year ago, uh, actually a year ago last summer, um, I went back and was reading this psalm again, and the Lord inspired me to uh, write the the rest of the song, uh, so it, it became a full song, and um, then I submitted that to Weldon Publishing, and lo and behold, they, they signed the song, and um, then it was about six weeks later, maybe at the most, I got a call that um, an artist was wanting to record it, and so all this is a process, and uh, that song is going to be released uh, be looking for Brent Mixon. You might want to go follow his Facebook page, Brent Mixon Music, and that way you'll know when it comes out or follow Weldon, Pub Weldon Music Publishing's page uh, as they uh, have lots of music coming out all the time, and uh, it'll be on there as soon as it uh, releases, I'm sure, as well. And so today I'm going to read the psalm to you. We'll have our devotion, and I want to share with you some of the lyrics of this song, uh, and you'll kind of have an advance um, heads up on the song before it's even released, so maybe that'll be a nice little touch uh, for you today. Psalm 80, Give ear, O shepherd of Israel, I'm reading from the King James Version, Thou that leadest Joseph like a flock, thou that dwellest between the cherubim, shine forth before Ephraim and Benjamin and Manasseh, stir up thy strength and come and save us. Turn us again, O God, and cause thy face to shine, and we shall be saved. O Lord God of hosts, how long wilt thou be angry against the prayer of thy people? Thou feedest them with the bread of tears, and givest them tears to drink in great measure. Thou makest us a strife unto our neighbors, and our enemies laugh among themselves. Turn us again, O God of hosts, and cause thy face to shine, and we shall be saved. Thou hast brought a vine out of Egypt. Thou hast cast out the heathen and planted it. Thou preparest room before it and didst cause it to take deep room and it filled the land. The hills were covered with the shadow of it and the boughs thereof were like the goodly cedars. She sent out her boughs unto the sea and her branches unto the river. Why hast thou then broken down her hedges so that all they which pass by the way do pluck her? The boar out of the wood doth waste it and the wild beast of the field doth devour it. Return, we beseech thee, O God of hosts. Look down from heaven, and behold, and visit this vine, and the vineyard which thy right hand hath planted, and the branch that thou madest strong for thyself. It is burned with fire, it is cut down. They perish at the rebuke of thy countenance. Let thy hand be upon the man of thy right hand, upon the son of man whom thou madest strong for thyself. Soul will not be go back from thee. Quicken us 
and we will call upon thy name. Turn us again, O Lord God of hosts. Cause thy face to shine, and we shall be saved. In this psalm, Psalm 80, the cry for restoration comes three times in verses 3 through 7 and in verse uh, 19, or rather verses 3, 7, and 19. The psalmist is deeply seeking the Lord for full restoration. The reality is that we all need God's restoration in our lives. He offers it freely, and he literally died to give it to us. Sometimes we feel that it's easier to stay stuck in our old ways when the truth is when the truth is that when we allow him to restore every part of our lives, we can have freedom and live fully as he intended. When we cry out to God like the psalmist does, knowing we can be restored and saved from all, uh, anything which comes against us, we can have great joy, we can have great hope, we can have great peace. And this psalm and the song uh, that I wrote really trying to reimagine uh, what it would have been like for the psalmist to write this and to sing it. Um, when I wrote this, uh, I really thought about the fact that repentance means turning around. And God may ask us to turn our face to him and away from the things that hurt us. And I ask you today just to spend a short time thinking through your before and your after with Jesus. What was life like before you knew him? What, uh, what has he saved you from? Take a moment this morning as we pray together and thank him for all that he's uh, done for you. So this song will be coming out uh, soon, uh, available to you on all streaming platforms, Psalm 80, uh, co-written by myself and Brandon Marin, and um, the, the artist, the recording artist, Brenton Mixon. The first verse says, Giver of life, we are faded away. Our bread salted with tears, we call upon your name. Redeemer God, revive us, restore us once more. Turn us again, O God, and cause your face to shine. Shine down on us like the sun all of our days. Turn us again, O God, and cause your face to shine. Shine down on us and we shall we shall be saved. Son of man, we need your help. Stir up your strength in us for yourself. Oh, come and save God with us, Emmanuel. And then the bridge says simply, turn us, forgive us, prepare us, revive us, remake us, restore us. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us and turn us again. O oh God, and cause your face to shine. Shine down on us like the sun all of our days. Turn us again, O oh God, and cause your face to shine. And we shall, we shall be saved. I pray that that psalm this morning and that the song, the modern version of it, um, will be a blessing uh, to each of you. Amen. As we, we turn our faces toward him this morning, I do believe that God's face will shine upon us, and that's where our hope is today for all the needs that we're praying for. Yes, please uh, go back and look at the requests from yesterday, as most of them will still be current. And the new requests uh, this morning that are appearing right now on the feed, and pray for those, and I'll be sure to catch up with you later. Thank you for being a part of this prayer and devotion this morning. Lord, we thank you for another day. And we thank you for your divine protection and favor that's upon us. I thank you, God, that uh, we are engraved in the palms of your hands and we are ever before you. And you will never forget or forsake your people. What a great promise of your word. Help us, God, to turn away from those things that would distract and those things that would hinder. And to turn our hearts toward you once again this morning. And to trust you, God, with what you're trying to do in our lives. If our trust is in you, God, our salvation will come. Hallelujah. In a timely in a timely manner, God, you will answer. And we thank you today. Let your will be done through our prayer team right now as they're covering each of these specific needs. We believe for healing. We believe for deliverance. 
We believe for salvation. We believe for prodigals to return home today. We believe, God, for complicated financial situations to be resolved. And whatever unspoken needs are out there today, God, you knew before we even turned our faces to you what we were going through. And you just desired for us to bring it to you today and to trust in you. You are with us today, oh God. And we thank you for that understanding of your word. Let your will be done in every need. Hallelujah. We believe, God, for every affliction to be lifted today. We believe for every sickness to be healed. Hallelujah. We believe for every family to be restored. We believe for broken homes to be put back together. Hallelujah. We believe for prodigals today, Lord, to come to themselves wherever that they're at, God, and be drawn back to a place of communion with you and with your church. Hallelujah. Let your perfect plan be enacted in us and through our prayers today as we intercede. God bless this prayer team as they're carrying the, the load today, the weight of this prayer time. Uh, specifically, God, each of these needs we know you're supplying according to your riches and glory. So let it be done today. Hallelujah. By the power of your name. Hallelujah. As your people lift up uh, their hearts in faith to you today. God, let it be done. And we thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, prayer team. Thank you for your faithfulness. Uh, tomorrow, I will also be pre-recording the devotion uh, for tomorrow as we'll be traveling back home uh, tomorrow afternoon after the voting session. So, uh, keep us in your prayers then uh, for safe return and for our church services uh, tomorrow evening that God's will will be done in the Bible study and in all of the classes tomorrow night. God bless you in Jesus' name. I'll see you tomorrow morning right here on Facebook Live at 7.30 a.m.